let's have a look at consensus. Now consensus is a lovely AI little bot and you ask your research question and it gets conclusions from thousands and millions of research papers and scientific studies. It explains to you exactly how you should search. You can ask about relationships between concepts such as uh, what predicts success as a startup founder. Uh, you can ask a simple yes no question. Can zinc help to treat depression, for example? Or ask about the effects of a concept. What are the effects of drug decriminalization? But it only has um, covers certain topic areas, so do be aware of this. Areas in social policy, medicine, mental health, supplements, economics, and sleep. And then you can share your results suggest topics for a blog. So it's a lovely, lovely tool. Let's try it out. Is there a relationship between physical activity and anxiety, seeing that they cover um, mental health issues? Now, they give us some examples. Does creatine help build muscle? So the way we have done it is perfectly fine. Benefits of mindfulness, direct cash transfers, and proper, uh, poverty. So let's see what it gives us here. Here we are on a page with a whole bunch of studies with the conclusions highlighted. In particular, regular physical activity may be especially beneficial for those experiencing higher levels of anxiety. And here it highlights that this is a, a randomized controlled trial. Uh, this comes from a journal which is ranked quite highly. Let's see, here it's a, they've highlighted a paper that's highly cited. How interesting is that? Now let's open one of them. Look at this. Here we have, a, we can share the finding. We have a link to the full text and we have the abstract right here under our fingertips. Then, if you click the Synthesize button, it gives you a summary of all of these. Now, I would definitely, the same way as we would need to handle all AI tools, um, it needs a human eye to interpret this, um, or even though it extracts information from research papers the way it is, uh, we need to really just be careful and analyze the studies ourselves. But it does give us a bit of a Overview. Look at this. 71% of papers says yes. So it gives you an overview of the research that's available out there. And you know those literature reviews that we need to write and we need to make it a balanced literature review. This is very amazing because here we can see that not all research are supportive. There's definitely research that are not supporting our hypothesis or our research question. And we need to um, look at those as well um, you know the poss possible or the ones that are, are, are negating what we are suspecting so this is really nice to use this summary although the recommendation is to find the full text of each of these papers and go and read the papers yourself to learn a bit more and just apply that human eye to these studies if you found this video helpful smash the like button for more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.